I'm Jeff Balicki. I am an assistant professor of energy policy here at The Ohio State University, where I have a joint appointment between the Department of Civil, Environmental, and Geodetic Engineering and the John Glenn School of Public Affairs. And recently, I've gotten into investigating uh, innovative ways to use uh, carbon dioxide to produce geothermal uh, energy. Uh, a few years ago, some researchers at the University of Minnesota uh, came up with the idea to use CO2, carbon dioxide, to produce geothermal uh, electricity by taking advantage of a concept called carbon dioxide capture and storage. It's where we put a large device on a big uh, power plant or other facility that produces carbon dioxide. And this device, rather than allowing the carbon dioxide to be vented into the atmosphere, is captured uh, and then ultimately injected underground where it is uh, stored away or sequestered from the atmosphere for a long period of time. And the idea that these researchers had was, well, if we can use that carbon dioxide in places where the heat flux from the Earth is high enough, we could actually circulate that carbon dioxide back up to the surface where we would withdraw heat or extract the heat from this uh, carbon dioxide and use that heat in a uh, power plant. As we pull the heat off, the carbon dioxide would cool and we would inject it back underground. So in effect, we would have a, a loop of carbon dioxide between the surface and the subsurface. More recently, uh, uh, colleagues of mine and I have worked on uh, newer ways to use this carbon dioxide uh, and the, combine it with the geothermal heat. The results have been quite um, remarkable, actually. One of the things that we've done is we've taken advantage of uh, ability to do directional drilling underground. We're actually using this uh, directional drilling to create concentric rings of wells where we moderate the amount of carbon dioxide that's being injected and, and to in order to create a uh, pressure conditions under the under the ground where we can actually store energy and produce it when it's needed. So not only are we circulating the carbon dioxide through the ground after it heats up bringing it back up to the earth and running it through a power plant, we're also able to store energy in these concentric rings. And this allows us to then alter or time shift um, electricity that's produced by other renewable sources, such as wind and solar. So there are a number of complementarities by using the CO2. First, it enables us to deploy this carbon dioxide capture and storage approach to keep carbon dioxide from being emitted to the atmosphere. Second, it allows us to use these renewable resources, the geothermal heat, to produce electricity. And third, it allows us to use the carbon dioxide and those geothermal resources to levelize fluctuations in wind and solar energy output. As a consequence, we expect that we can make a a uh, pretty good dent in our um, emissions of CO2 to the atmosphere and help to encourage the slow overturn of the energy system towards those that rely, towards technologies that rely more on renewable resources. Mm -hmm.